Oh my God, this makes me so ill. I don't know what this is and it's making me so uncomfortable. Do I have to pick it up? <laughs> God, I really don't want to. Mmm. Okay, this is not a vegan show. Great. God, why are you making me touch these things? This is disturbing. I'm not even a vegetarian. And now I think I am. No! <laughs> ah! Okay. This, I believe, is... Cow... side. You chose the vegetarian to identify meat. I don't really know, but it looks like a nice little fatty piece of meat. Like, I would eat this. It's like a piece of filet mignon. I'm Jamaican, so this looks like oxtail. Sirloin? Stuff for a Korean barbecue. Maybe this is the shoulder. Beef chuck? Sternum. I don't know what that is. It's bone. It's not super long. It's kind of short. Short rib. It's just a short rib. So good, though. Beef short rib cut. Get some sear on these bad boys and braise them. There's some people who even eat the middle of the rib. This is a beef short rib, okay? It comes from the center section of the rib, kind of coming around the bottom side of the cow. This is a really great braising cut. So in other words, something that you want to cook low and slow and moist heat. Not good for throwing on the grill. Oh, 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 that's, woo! I don't want to touch this. Ooh! It feels so disgusting. <gasps> wow! What is this? No! Huh? I'm okay. This might be a brain. This is the otter. I don't even want to smell it. Honestly, it smells like cleaning products. You hear that? I don't like this game anymore. It looks like a purse. Walking through town with my purse. It looks like a swim cap. It almost reminds me of like a bad prom dress. It wants to be seen but not touched. I see where you get your pillow designs from. It's like flaky, like papery. It's, it's actually kind of pretty when you look at it. How does spleens look? If my life depended on it, I couldn't accurately tell you what this is. Placenta! What's it called? A stomach? This is a cow's stomach. Oh, I can't remember the name. I think it's called tri tripe, something like that. Tripe, thank you. I think it's big in the Philippines. Tripe is the lining of one of the four chambered stomachs of the cow. While it looks sort of like packing material, it actually can be very tasty. It doesn't taste good. It's like bologna that's gone bad or something. This is tripe. This is from the digestive system of the cow. Tripe is really, really assertively flavored on its own, and this really benefits from long, low, and slow cooking to bring out the flavor and to help tenderize it. It's like some sort of steak. This looks like a good piece of meat. When you look for beef, this is, this is what you're looking for right here. The word loin is coming to me. This is a lung. Don't smoke, kids. Maybe the butt? Like a rump roast? I'm gonna go with the thigh. It's the defining part of a bull, which is the penis. This is fascinating. I would expect to see like a tube in here somewhere. I'm gonna say brisket. Liver or something? Wow, it's so muscular. I think this is a kidney. I'm not sure what kind of meat this is, but I'd probably eat this. Looks like steak, and I think steak comes from the leg. Looks like a tri-tip hanger steak. Hanger steak! A hanger steak. This very innocuous piece is a hanger steak, which is part of the animal's whole like breathing muscle center, like skirt steak, hanger steak. The hanger steak, that's this guy right here. This one has a really easy way to identify, and that's that there's a membrane that runs right down the center, and every hanger steak has a grain that runs in a V pattern. So you can see the grain here are these lines, going here and then coming in from the other side, that's how you can recognize the hanger steak. Hanger steak's a great grilling steak. It's also known as um, anglais or butcher's steak. This is the only steak cut on the cow that there's only one. It's in the center of the cow, as opposed to having, say, a ribeye on the left and a ribeye on the right. Oh my gosh, this is such a uh, weird texture too. I have no idea what this is. Mm, I don't like it. Wow. It's an organ of some sort. It looks like brain, but I know it's not brain. Maybe the liver? Is it a kidney? Oh God, it smells 
the cows. But are all of these parts edible? This has a lot of fat. Maybe it had a drinking problem. The kidneys, liver, uh, neck, bone. It is so hard. This might be beef heart. <gasps> boom, 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 cow heart. Yeah, that's a heart. I definitely see some like ventricles. I believe they're called. I don't know. I didn't study biology. Because it's got the holes where the. Uh, aorta come out and the vena cava. You can see the chambers of the heart. Very high in iron, good for you. This is a portion of a beef heart. This gives you an idea of how big a beef heart actually is. We only have one quarter of it right here. So you can picture how big the whole thing would be. Oh my God. I saved the weirdest one for last because I know exactly what it is. I'm gonna touch this thing. Yeah, I am. Ew. Oh. <laughs> is it an ear? Ah! No, this has got to be like, like a ringworm. I'm gonna have nightmares about this for weeks. This guy, I know what it is, because I'm from Iowa. That's a tongue. That's totally a tongue, oh my God! Tongue, cow tongue, cow tongue. This is a huge tongue. <laughs> Not for me, no thank you. My mother used to make, this is very good for you and if you eat it, you'll shut up. Don't like tongue. It's like, wow. So gross, I can literally see the taste buds on it. Ooh, it's really scaly. Cow's tongue is actually a big delicacy in certain parts of the country. How would you even cook that? I don't even want to know. Actually, it looks like a steak on the underside, but that's this is like... But then it's delicious. I know it freaks people out, but it's really good. It has all the little, like, like furry parts of a tongue and stuff. I've had this cooked. And when you're tasting the cow, you just have to think about the cow tasting you. This is a cow tongue. This needs to be cooked low and slow, but when it is, it's really, really, really delicious. Cows eat grass all day. Their tongue gets a lot of use, and when muscle mass gets a lot of use, it tends to be a lot tougher. So this is why we want to cook this low and slow. Now, the other thing to know about the tongue, we need to peel the skin off of this guy, and it's easier to peel it after it's cooked than before. All right, and these are some of the beef cuts that we have. I don't think it did very well. I think I got two or three right. God bless all this. I am getting a little grossed out. I don't think I'm ever eating meat again. I'll take the short ribs. That's all of them. Please take them away. 